There is something wonderful when love of a particular book and a love of craft combine into some educational magic. Well, that's what I want to look at today. Just actually a simple and easy craft that you can do at home, especially if you have some littles, and also how you can combine that with a book and have some great learning experiences. Hi, and welcome to Learning Life. Thank you so much for joining me today. And thank you for all of your likes and your subscribes. It is absolutely wonderful. And it's not too late. You can still subscribe. You can still like these videos. But thank you so much for your input. Now, I love books and I love crafts. And as you know, maybe well, I'm homeschooling the girls in our curriculum. Well, you know what? We mix it up a little bit. Often it's more like mum gets creative, um, especially if I hear this, mum, can we do a craft today? And then what I like to do is I like to combine it with a book. So we've got something that we see. Do we have a book? Well, this is one that I have talked about before because I love this book. And when you love something, you talk about it. The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carle. Uh, fantastic book. Uh, we have it both in English and in German, with the girls being bilingual. And that's actually what it was originally written in. A fantastic, fantastic book. Now, I have taught this many times because it lends itself to so many great things. So like the life cycle of a butterfly, you know, we've taught that and, and used that. Um, about insects, if you're doing insects, now you can talk about, you know, caterpillars or whatever it is that you're doing. Or like me, like the girls wanted to do a craft, I had some egg cartons and some other stuff. And so it flipped it around like that other way. But I have done like these crafts as well when I've done like the life cycle of a butterfly. Now, aren't these beautiful? My girls made these. Um, their use of colors. I can tell which girl it is by how they have painted and what they have done. Um, I love watching their sort of their personalities come through with that. But this is just simple. And this is easy and it's a great one to do with littles. And, you know, this is just all stuff that I've had like at home. So let me just show you how to make a simple and easy egg carton caterpillar that can combine, you know, you can read it with the book and, and just have some fun. So what you need are some egg cartons. You do need the cardboard ones. The plastic ones, paint doesn't stick to them or that polystyrene or whatever it is. Again, paint doesn't really work. Cardboard is best for this one. You'll need some pipe cleaners. We always seem to have those around. Your paint and your paint brushes, glue, and of course, a pack of googly eyes. I mean, we always have googly eyes at our house because you never know when you might need them. I feel like our crafts should be sponsored by Dollar Tree because <laughs> this is where uh, we pretty much get all of our crafting stuff if we're not having it at home. Yeah. Some scissors and then whatever you use as a crafting knife. This was an old steak knife that just cuts so beautifully in cardboard. So it's become our crafting knife. How to do it. I've already cut these. As you can see, I've cut. Um, make it now. You can make them cut them in half again, make little caterpillars. Uh, so you could get four out of an egg carton or you can make them longer. Now you just want to paint them however you want to paint them. If you want to be a purist and follow the book, as you can see, it's green with the red head. We are not purists in our family. Uh, my girls feel a little restricted if you say this is how perhaps you should be doing it. Uh, just watch that no, come out. Well, I'm not going to paint right now just for ease of time. And I think that you can use your imagination. Also saves the mess. We don't want the mess. So we're okay with beige, right? <laughs> so we get our egg card and, and we get like our knife and you just want to poke a couple of holes at the top. Not too big. Now I like to do this before sticking on the eyes. Of course you want it to be dry. And then you're going to pick out your pipe cleaner. Do you want to have like the soft and fluffy or like in our house, as the girls say, you do need something sparkly because it just makes your caterpillars fabulous. Um, their words, not mine. Now I like to poke it in through from the bottom. I know there's different ways that you can do it. For me, this just seems to just work easiest. They're less likely to come out. Poke each up through the side 
and then just curl around your finger to get that nice little curvy bit of the antenna. And of course, then you can shape them how you like. That's what I love about pipe cleaners. So many great things that we can be uh, doing with these. So we've got our little antenna. We've got a beautifully painted caterpillar and we've got our antenna. Now we need eyes. This is where googly eyes come in to really bring that personality. If you don't have them, that's fine. Just use a marker, draw them on. But googly eyes. So yeah, pick them up. They I always seem to have problem. They either stick to me or I don't get them. So yes, I tend to lick my finger a lot when we're doing these. So we're just gonna stick them here on the front. Um, white glue or like a runny glue does tend to work better than like a, just a glue stick. So we stick on here on what's been painted. Now we could draw a little mouth if we wanted to. One of my girls did on hers, needed to have like little mouths. It's really up to you. If you then want to like stick legs underneath, why not? Like that's the great thing about craft. You make it your own. It doesn't have to be, you know, just how somebody else has done it. And I love watching like the freedom, like for my girls, like just wanting to do something, just enjoying that craft. We have an army of caterpillars now because they've enjoyed it so much. The use of color. Oh, now I want to do this. Can I make another one? Because I want to do it like this. Um, so you've got your caterpillar and now you can read the story and your caterpillar can eat through the foods and do all of these different things before it becomes a beautiful butterfly. Now that really is like the great thing and the easy thing. Like you can connect and combine and really make it a good and rich learning experience. So you talk about caterpillars and how they become a butterfly. You know, you talk through all of that. You know, you've made your caterpillar, you've read your story. You know, why not ask Google or Siri, you know, more about caterpillars, go and find out more and maybe the different varieties or the kinds of caterpillars that there are. You know, this is great. Now all of a sudden we've moved beyond just, just doing a craft. You know, we've done a craft, we've added a story, we're finding out more information. That really is a rich and easy learning experience. Like really anybody can be doing that. And that's a great way of really like getting into a curriculum and just really making it work for you. Why not have some fun, create your own little caterpillars and have a great time with it. Enjoy the mess. Now you could also add glitter to it. Um, we have a glitter ban in our house at the moment still. Uh, really more that's because of me because I sort of um, forget and then just go, oh yes, we'll use glitter. And then it goes everywhere. And so I've just decided no, but you can make them as fabulous as you like, however you want to make them because after all, they are your caterpillars. Well, thank you so much for watching, you know, and if you enjoy these videos and would love to see more of them, you know, you can join us as um, a champion through Patreon and you can check that out at patreon.com or at the website, my website, which will have like the instructions on what you need on how to make these. And that is learningthis.life. Thank you so much for watching.